With digital note-taking getting more and more popular, choosing the right app is crucial. But what if instead of scrolling through app store reviews trying to find the perfect note-taking app, you could actually focus on the one that comes with every single Apple device? That's right, Apple users. I'm talking about Apple Notes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Apple Notes? Really? Isn't that just a basic app that comes pre-installed on my device? But hold on to your stylus, because the app actually came a very long way since it was first launched with iOS 1.0. With improved organization, advanced search capabilities, functional tools, and even the ability to scan documents, this app is ready to take on the big boys on the App Store. And the best part? It's already on your device and it's completely free. So grab a cup of coffee and let's dive right into why Apple Notes is better than you think. Like most note-taking apps, Apple Notes uses a folder system to keep things organized. First, you have your regular folders. You can use them to organize your notes however you'd like. You can even move notes from one to the other just by drag and dropping. But you have also smart folders. Those are one of the very cool features added recently by Apple Notes. When creating a smart folder, you'll select hashtags to associate with the category for the folder. When using tags on your notes, those will be automatically sorted into the associated smart folder. With iOS 16, you can actually add filters to those tags as well, which is really awesome. You can easily create as many folders as you want, and you can even nest them to five levels deep to keep things organized. Apart from the folders that you can create yourself, Notes actually comes with a set of different default folders already. The Notes folder contains all unsorted notes, while the all iCloud or all on my iPad folders lets you access any note currently in either of these locations. Quick notes go in well. Quick notes and shared notes go into the shared folder. Pretty straightforward, I guess. When you delete a note, it will end up in the recently deleted folder where it can be recovered for up to 30 days before being deleted forever. By default, Apple Notes sorts your notes by last edited. And it goes even further by grouping them by date, such as today, previous seven days, and so on. The app makes it very easy for you to find pretty much anything at any time. It has advanced search capabilities like optical character recognition that can locate your search terms in text, in handwritten pages, or even in attachments like images or scanned documents. You also have access to other tools, for example, you can pin an import note to the top of the folder, so it's always the first one you see when you enter that precise folder. In terms of display, Apple Notes offers two views. It defaults to the list view where notes are divided into three navigation windows, folders, notes, and contents. And this view changes based on the orientation of your device. List view is ideal if you need to keep track of multiple notes at the same time. It just allows you to see more notes at once. The second display mode is a gallery view. This view shows a thumbnail of each note. Compared to the list view, this one is a bit more comfortable and actually gives you more customization options. You can increase or decrease the size of a thumbnail, for example, which is pretty cool. Now, regardless of which view you choose for yourself, you can get a closer look at any note by just pressing and holding it. The Apple Notes toolbar might seem a little small compared to other note-taking apps, but it offers more than enough functionality for you to get the job done. Typing with either the on-screen keyboard or an external keyboard is one of two ways that you can add notes in here. Once you do that, you'll be able to use the shortcut menu to change the style and formatting of the text. If you're a big fan of typed text, Apple Notes comes with onboard handwriting conversion. It basically uses the scribble feature on your iPad to convert handwritten notes into text. Now, whether you're sketching or taking notes, you have plenty of options. If you've updated to iOS 16, you now have four different types of pens, a pencil and a marker. Each tool is pretty much what you would expect from their name. And you can actually customize them in thickness, in color and in opacity. The Pencil tool excels when combined with an Apple Pencil for drawing and sketching. It's really sensitive to pressure and has basically no lag, which makes it very satisfying to use. Okay, now, writing and drawing on an iPad can be quite challenging due to the glass screen. 
While Apple Notes does its best to offset this challenge, a paper-like screen protector can make the surface of your iPad feel like real paper, immensely improving your experience. You'll find a link to the screen protector right in the description. Now, back to Apple Notes. When you make a mistake, you do need an eraser. And Apple Notes gives you two options. The pixel eraser is a regular one, just like you would find on a real pencil, for example. The object eraser allows you to press on an object to erase larger chunks at a time, rather than moving the eraser tool over every part of it. The highlighter tool is used, well, to highlight certain parts of your notes. And just like the pen and pencil tools, the highlighter comes with five preset thicknesses and an opacity slider. The nice thing is that even at 100% opacity, it won't dim your notes. You'll also see some more tools on the toolbar, including the lasso tool, a color palette, and a ruler. Apart from that, you also have a text tool that allows you to add text or a signature, and a shapes tool. Now, to create a new note, no matter where you are in the app, all you have to do is tap this button right here, and a blank note will automatically appear on your screen. From here, you can hit the three dots to customize your workspace. You can choose from different background layouts in the Lines and Grids menu, or tap Customize Toolbar to rearrange or delete items from your toolbar. You can format your text, add lists or tables, and import photos or documents. And that's about it, actually. No fancy customization options like you'd find in other note-taking apps, but the essential is more than covered here. I'm not gonna lie, importing files into Apple Notes can be quite tricky, but iCloud Storage and the new scanning feature actually add a new layer of usability to it. Using email or the Files app, you can add several files to notes, but it will all be treated as attached documents. To get the information out of an attachment and into the body of a note, you'll have to open it, select your desired text, and then copy and paste it into the body of the note. It's definitely not intuitive, but it can be done. Now, if you own other Apple devices, importing is much easier. With Universal Clipboard, you can basically copy something on your Mac and then paste it inside your notes, whether on your iPhone or your iPad. Another way to import documents is using this camera icon right here. It allows you to take a photo, upload a photo, or scan a document. The document will then be treated as an attachment rather than as a note, but you can still annotate it. Just need to tap on it and then select the pen or the pencil tool. Between the scanner and the universal clipboard, you should be able to add anything you need to your notes. Well, if you're an Apple user, if you run on Windows or Android, for example, emailing your content to yourself should be the easiest way to import anything to Apple Notes. All your Apple devices will save and sync directly into iCloud, which makes it super easy just to move documents from one device to the other. Other apps like GoodNotes allow you to save automatically into Google Drive or Dropbox, for example, and Apple Notes allows it as well, but with some downsides. In terms of export, it's possible to do it but your note will be converted into a PDF, and you can only send one PDF at a time, which is pretty limiting, let's be honest. Additionally, because Apple Notes uses raster ink, exports can make your PDFs look kind of blurry. Also remember that Apple Notes are vertically infinite. This means that you won't have any idea where your page starts and ends. As a result, you'll probably have very inconvenient page breaks with no way of fixing them. Last but not least, your export will in no way impact your original file. Your notes are still backed up to iCloud and basically you just export a copy of it. Now that you've got an idea about how to use the basic tools, we can actually look at some very interesting additional features. Apple Notes allows you to collaborate with others on your notes. You can choose to collaborate or just send a copy of your notes, and you can adjust the rules on who can access your notes and whether they can view them or edit them. You can send invitations to edit through messages or FaceTime, for example, and everyone on the thread will automatically be included in the collaboration of your notes. Unique feature number two, one of my favorites, Quick Notes. 
These make note-taking so much more easy and convenient. You can open this feature from anywhere on your iPad by dragging upward from the bottom right corner. You can open a quick note from your lock screen by tapping it with the Apple Pencil. You can attach a link to your quick notes and you can even associate a website with your quick notes. So when you open the website, the note pops up too. What's pretty cool is that you can actually move them around to pretty much any corner of the screen or dismiss them entirely. Now to checklists and tables. And this is actually pretty interesting because most note-taking apps don't allow you to create checklists and tables unless you draw them yourselves. And Apple Oats actually does. You can easily create an interactive checklist to mark off items as you complete them and use the table icon on the bar above your keyboard to create a table. A 2x2 two two table appears by default, but you can add or delete as many rows or columns as you want. Another unique feature is password protection. With Apple Notes, you can basically create a password to protect your notes. And depending which device you're using, you can actually use Face ID or Touch ID as well. Last but not least, Apple Notes has the ability to recognize data like phone numbers, email addresses, or dates, and allows you to interact with them. For example, if you type an email address, Apple Notes will allow you to send an email, start a FaceTime, save to contacts, and so much more. So there you have it. Apple Notes is intuitive, very easy to use, and best of all, it's totally free. For those who are already completely immersed in the Apple ecosystem, the seamless integration with other Apple apps is a huge plus. Let's not forget the ability to create checklists and tables, as well as Quick Notes, which is still my favorite unique feature here, as well as Universal Clipboard and the sharing capabilities. So next time you're scrolling through the App Store looking for the perfect note-taking app, just remember that you already own a pretty complete one, especially if you're a casual note-taker. Now, if you're looking for a place to brainstorm, for a place that kind of complements Apple Notes, I highly encourage you to watch our latest video where we explore Freeform, Apple's productivity tool. If this video was helpful, don't forget to press the like button and or subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.